do this problem a little bit differently. Welcome. Um, but it's going to be the, along the same course. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve for x uh, in this equation, y equals 2 thirds x minus 12. A lot of times when I'm solving a literal equation, what I will do is I will, I'll do what we call pinning the variable, where I'm just going to circle the variable and keep it there. And what I'm going to do is now just look at what is happening to the variable and undo everything that is happening. So you can see here I'm being multiplied by 2 thirds, and I'm subtracting the 12. Now remember, when um, we're solving equations, we always want to use our inverse operations as well as the reverse order of operations, meaning I want to undo addition and subtraction first. So to do that, what I'm simply going to do is add a 12 to both sides. Now, I cannot add 12 to y because we don't know the value of y. So I'm simply going to have this rewritten as y plus 12 is equal to 2 thirds times x. Now, to undo this fraction, you can see I'm multiplying by 2 thirds. Well, how do you undo multiplying 2 thirds? Well, you could definitely divide by 2 thirds. But when we look into dividing fractions, that's the same, same process as multiplying by the reciprocal. So basically, I can just multiply by the reciprocal, which would be 3 halves on both sides. Now, be very careful. When we, anytime we multiply a fraction times its reciprocal, that multiplies into 1. But when I, I'm multiplying this 3 halves times y plus 12. So I need to make sure I put that in parentheses and then distribute through. So then when I do that, I have 3 halves y. 3 times 12, right? when you multiply this across, actually, I'll show this. It would be a positive 3 halves times 12 equals x. Now, if I'm going to multiply 3 halves times 12, rewrite that as 12 over 1. So therefore, you see it's a fraction times a fraction you can multiply across. 3 times 12 is going to be 36. Divided by 2 would be 18. So I actually have 3 halves y plus 18 equals x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve your literal equation for x. Thanks.